What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our all aluminum performance radiator in your 2012 to 2015 Camaro SS. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include 10 millimeter socket, quarter inch drive ratchet, 10 and 19 millimeter wrenches, a pick, panel tool, flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, channel lock pliers, and Mishimoto's liquid chill. Installation time is about one hour. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Caution, never work on the cooling system when it's hot. The coolant temperature in the radiator can be considerably higher than boiling and the system may be under pressure. Opening a cooling system that's hot or under pressure can result in serious injury. Always wait until the system has cooled completely before servicing it in any way. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with the jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you're unsure. Place a drain pan under the driver's side of the radiator and loosen the petcock to drain the coolant. Then remove the pressure cap from the radiator to accelerate the draining process. Separate the overflow hose from the radiator. Then squeeze the clamp that secures the coolant hose to the water neck of the radiator and separate the hose from the radiator. Disconnect the electrical harness from the mass airflow sensor. To release this connector, slide the gray locking tab out and then depress the black tab. Remove the intake tube and air box from the vehicle. Our donor car had an aftermarket intake, so yours may look a bit different. Separate the fan wiring harness from the fan shroud. Then separate the connector. Compress the clamp that secures the upper radiator hose to the radiator, and then separate the hose from the radiator. Our donor car has Mishimoto silicone hoses installed, so we had a worm gear clamp instead. Remove the two bolts that secure the fan shroud to the radiator. Then squeeze the plastic tabs at the top of the radiator to release the fan shroud and lift it out of the car. Squeeze the clamps that secure the coolant hose to the lower end tank on the radiator and separate the hose from the radiator. Make sure you have your drain bucket ready to capture any spills. Compress the clamp that secures the lower radiator hose to the radiator and separate the hose from the radiator. Separate the dust boot from the cooler line connection at the bottom of the radiator. Use a pick tool to remove the circlip from the cooler fitting. Be careful when removing these clips as they tend to spring away when removed and can be hard to find. Now remove the cooler line from the radiator and repeat the process on the second cooler line. Tuck the lines up and out of the way so they don't leak during the rest of the install. Remove the bolt that secures the radiator mount to the radiator support and remove the mount. Repeat this process on the other side. Tilt the radiator back to expose the mounting bolts for the AC condenser. Remove the bolts to separate the AC condenser from the radiator. At the base of the AC condenser, there are two feet that slip into the radiator. Lift the AC condenser up to separate it from the radiator. Then remove the radiator from the vehicle by lifting it upward. Remove the rubber isolators from the bottom of the factory radiator and reinstall them to the vehicle. Snug the drain plug on the Mishimoto radiator. Lower the radiator into place and seat it into the rubber isolators on the vehicle. Take care to avoid damaging the fins on the AC condenser as you slide the radiator in. Lift the AC condenser up and slip the feet on the condenser into the slots on the Mishimoto radiator. Then secure the condenser to the radiator using the original hardware. Reinstall the radiator mounts and secure them with the original hardware. Attach the coolant hose to the bottom tank of the radiator and secure it with the spring clamp. Reinstall the cooler line into the fitting on the Mishimoto radiator. These fittings have new circlips pre-installed. Simply push the line into the fitting until it snaps into place. Make sure the circlip is properly seated in the groove and install the dust boot over the fitting. Repeat this process on the other line.
Reinstall the lower radiator hose and secure it with the spring clamp. There are three tabs along the base of the fan shroud that fit into the mounts on the radiator. Lower the fan shroud into place so the tabs engage the mounts. Then secure the fan shroud to the radiator with the original hardware. Reconnect the electrical harness to the fan shroud and secure the connector to the shroud with the integrated clip. Reattach the upper radiator hose to the radiator and secure it with the clamp. Reinstall the coolant line to the water neck of the Mishimoto radiator and secure it with the clamp. Then reinstall the overflow hose to the radiator. Reinstall the air intake. Then connect the wiring harness to the mass airflow sensor and lock the connector with the gray tab. Fill the cooling system with pre-mixed Chevy approved coolant through the radiator filler neck. Start the engine and allow it to idle with the cap off. Turn the heater control valve on the vehicle's HVAC unit to full hot and put the fan on low. Monitor the engine temperature and coolant level in the reservoir. Add coolant as needed to maintain a proper level in the reservoir and check your connections for leaks. If the vehicle begins to overheat or coolant starts to overflow from the reservoir, shut off the engine and allow it to cool before continuing. Once the vehicle is fully warmed up and the coolant level has stabilized, allow the vehicle to cool off completely and then top off the coolant level. The coolant level should be checked once more after putting in some miles. Now that you've got the radiator installed, make sure that your coolant is fully bled and topped off. Then it's time to take your Camaro for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.